What's up, what's up? It's your player partner checking in 2 Chains, and this is the most expensivest hold down. Now, they say everything is bigger in Texas, so I had to come down here and check it out myself. Here at Billy Bob's, it's the world's largest honky tonk. Get that safe! Get that safe, Sonny! Whoa! And if you feel like splurging, you can come over here and strum through a daring banjo. Playing the most expensive banjo in the world. And you can't be in Texas without trying that hot sauce, right? We're going to holler at the people down in Swap Dragon that has hot sauce with a little liquor in it. Shit! Grab your partner, do si -do. This ain't no gym class. Most expensivest, hold down. Titty 2 chains. I'll be your host today. True. Hey, man. My man 2 chains. My man Marty, how you doing? Welcome to Texas, my friend. All right, I'm Glad happy to be you here, out. brother. World's largest honky-tonk. We're excited to have you here tonight. We're fixing up our 38th anniversary here, so we've been around for a honky-tonk. 38 years is a long time. Billy Bob's been open for 38 years. 127,000 square feet. We hold 6,000 people. World's largest belt buckle. We about 120 concerts a year. Anybody can come in, but we do have memberships of people that get first shot at buying tickets to our concerts. We have a silver level, and we sell 50 or 60 of those a year, and they're all sold out for the year. Gold level, we sell about 70 of those a year. We have a platinum level. We only sell 30 of those a year. Garth Brooks played here. Alan Jackson, Marvin Gaye, the Beach Boys, the Marvin Monkeys. Gaye, it I goes know. on and yeah. on. The first New Year's Eve here, Bob Hope was the MC, and Chuck Berry and Johnny Cash were the entertainers. Behold the Honky Tonk, a brand of drinking establishment in the American South known for slinging beer, playing country music, and offering a fair bit of dancing. These pillars of patriotic pride do very well for themselves. Popular Honky Tonks can bring in between 10 and 20 million in annual revenue. Not bad for a room of cheap beer and bedazzled hats. We're going to take you and watch. Uh, we have live bull riding tonight, professional bull riding. On, have... the, on the machine? On no, the no, 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 no. Not real, there's real balls, not steel balls. Real balls, not steel balls. These guys tonight, they're, like I said, they're riding for money. We do it at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock every Friday and Saturday. And how hold long on. does a guy supposed to hold on? One hand, eight seconds. If your hand touches the bull, you're disqualified. If this hand touches. Can't touch the can't bull. Can't touch it. Also, we're doing, we're doing some line dance lessons tonight. My instructor at Rhonda will take good care of it. She's taught thousands and thousands of people over the years. Sounds like a good idea. Man, let's get excited. I'm ready. My boy. Tim glad to have you here. Thank you. Bye, buddy. <laughs> what you want to do now? You like my jacket? Oh, yeah, oh, he, ain't nobody gonna stay on him no long time. <laughs> Keep jumping up like that. Come on, act like you're gonna do something. Well, this is upstairs. If you look down, you see these animals. We do this every Friday, every Saturday. So these boys fix get on their back and try to hang on for eight seconds. And if one of them does it, it'll be awesome. If two or three of them do it, it'd be great. Clown. That's a clown. That's a clown. That's a clown. Clown. He protects them. He saves their life. Yeah. You're ready. Hell yeah. Here you go. Get the points now. How badass the bull is, and how good your ride is. Yeah! Yeah! I like this shit. I like. I like this shit. What's that? That's a clown. That's a clown. That's that mean man. He mean. This is the mean one. This is the one that's after your jacket. Watching him. That mean, I told you. That bitch mean. Yeah, you did.
about 200 head. We bring 10 or 15 a week. Man, you, you ride bulls too? Hell yeah. yeah. The nuts, man. That's the what nuts. he said, the nuts. Yeah, we got bull nuts. The nuts are good. We got nuts down here for the flight with salt, pepper, ketchup on it. I don't want nobody's nuts, man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Damn, man, you all right, man? You all right, buddy? You a tough son of a bitch. Boy, I saw you out there. Y'all want to play no football now? <laughs> Back it's in better the day. than football. <laughs> it's better, it's it's better than football. Man. It's way better than football. Way better, better it's better than football. Than it was only three, three, four, five seconds. Eight seconds. Eight time eight of your life. I'm yeah, that's true. That. <laughs> What we have here is a commemorative sequestensive. Sesquicentennial. Sequestensive. Sesquicentennial. Sesquicentennial band. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Hello. How you guys doing, man? Yeah, fine. How you doing? What's up, buddy? Tony. Tony, nice to meet you. Jamie. Jamie. Very nice to I'm meet you. Two chains. Oh, there's a lot of history behind the, the banjo. It's a lot of history. What we have here is uh, we have two of only 11 during uh, commemorative sequestensive. Sesquicentennial. 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 Sesquicentennial banjos that celebrate 150 years since Texas's independence from Mexico. In 1985, there was a lot of uh, advertising for the Texas sesquicentennial coming up in 1986. And I had this idea to design a banjo to commemorate the sesquicentennial. So I sent the sketches to Greg Deering, and he said, yeah, we want to make it. This is the prototype. This is the first one. And this is the 11th one. Now, is there any reason you've only sold 11? Is it, is, are they well, hard because, to get? Or? Well, no, they're tw nearly $22,000. Oh, shit, that's, that's why. The history is, is that there are 50 states. We here in Texas celebrate our centennials from the day we defeated Santa Ana at San Jacinto, which was April 21st, 1836. Tony, you the, you the real Google. Well, yeah. You said they about 20, 20 to 25,000 to get your hands on one up. Well, today, the current price, if you custom ordered it, would be about 22,000 plus sales tax. Right. What's the sale tax down here? It's a 0.0825. <laughs> so, He's sharp, man. So, Tony, you sharp, man. Well, I don't know about that. Tell me a little something now. Do you actually know how to play it? Would you like me to play something? Yeah, let me hear something, man. Let me see the bottom of your shoes. Let me see my lovely double tap. Double tap. So how long have you been doing that? Since I was six years old. You did good. Thank you. Thank you. Tony. Yes, sir. Uh, you ain't got to go nowhere, though. Come on back. You can't sneak away with them damn shoes, huh? <laughs> Can I show you something? Show me something. The names around the side. The Travis, names are, Malone, yeah, Lamar, yeah, the, the, Houston, Fannin, Milam, Crockett, Boy, and Austin. That sounds like places in Texas. All of the men who's named around the side, they came from other places to help us become the Republic. And Mirabeau B. Lamar was from Georgia. Really? Yeah. Tell me more, Tony. Hell, well, you know everything. There, Tell that, me more about the Republican Party well, and stuff. Well, no, it's not the Republican Party. It's <laughs> the Republic of Texas. Oh, yeah. We became the 28th state in 1845. They don't do you the real Texas Google. So talk to me about this last little piece of art you got going down right here. Well, now. there's the state. This is the cowboy boot. This Colt 45. Here's the spur, the Lone Star, cowboy hat. Longhorn, small lariat in there. Flags are color correct, an unusual red. It's red 185. I wanted a cowboy rope. My birth year is on the back of this one. Battle of the Alamo, and uh, that's about it. Oh, man. So it's safe to say you, you like Texas a little bit. Well, yeah. I like that. So today we learn how to 
Black folk call it tap dance. What y'all call it? Clogging. Clogging. <laughs> Thank you for clogging. I'm going to talk to Tony for a minute. Tony. Man, how you play it, man? It's in an open G card. Playing the most expensive banjo in the world. I told you I'm ready. Wake snake, day is breaking. Beans in the pot and a whole cake's baking. Bag chicken, fried turkey. <laughs> Come over, baby, work me. You know I'm dripping, yeah, on this dry land. Playing a banjo on bias land. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> This most expensive is, man. What is he doing on here? And what you got to cost what? money? Thanks, sir. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing so good, I can't stand it. How you doing? <laughs> you can't stand it. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell me something about what you got going on here. Now, I heard it's called a, the Swamp Dragon. Swamp Dragon, yes, sir. That name alone scares the hell out of me. Oh, man. don't be scared. Look at him. He's a baby dragon. He don't want to hurt oh, nobody. Oh, you got a nice, nice, you got a... His name's Marvin. Marvin the baby dragon. Oh, OK. So when did you come up with the swamp dragon? I don't like vinegar. Oh. I've never liked it. It's sour, it's bitter, it's acidy. So I found out after researching this for a couple of years, the reason they use vinegar is because it's so acidy, it kills germs. It's a preservative. That's why you don't have to refrigerate your hot sauce. Guess what else kills germs? Alcohol. My man. That's what I'm saying. So tell me where you're going with this. Bourbon is better than vinegar. Bourbon is better than vinegar. Changed my mind. Oh, OK. So you swapped out the ingredients. It's you got the same results. That's a, like a half and half blend with peppers and liquor. Oh, you got a heavy risk. Peppers and liquor. This stuff will let you don't have to put it in the refrigerator. It doesn't turn the color of zombie vomit. It stays bright red. <laughs> it's 16 times less acidic than the world's leading hot sauce company. Completely different flavor. You get all the heat, but none of the... The... Yeah. Do you put it on everything? I do. What's crazy that you think the viewers might not believe that you put hot sauce on? Rice Krispie treats. I ain't kidding. It doesn't have any vinegar in it. So you get a little heat with the sweet. Y'all are crazy to take. <laughs> They crazy down here. Yeah. Tell me about your flavors. All right, so this is tequila, vodka, rum, and bourbon. Are you serious? Yeah. And it's not flavors, it's blends. That's actual alcohol. That's 20% alcohol in the bottle. So get you a little tips if you... No, it's too spicy for that. The federal government agrees with me it's not suitable for beverage purposes. So we don't have to check for IDs or anything. Really? Really. I have ulcers and acid reflux, right? Mm. And if I get something too spicy, it'll flip me. I want a little some of this for my house. Absolutely. Because I don't want to be stingy. I want some of my people to try this. Well, I brought you some special bottles. Uh, what you mean? So these are $5.99. You can find us at SwampDragonHotSauce.com. $5.99? Yeah. This most expensive is, man. What is he doing on here? That's not the most expensive. $5.99, man. What you got that costs money? What I did uh -huh. was I got a special bottle of cognac imported from France. Oh. Been aged over 50 years. Yeah, Only 60 bottles imported to the United States. And I you made- You got your hands on I something. made hot sauce. Let me see it. I got two bottles just for you. Oh. This cognac swap dragon. And I personally gold leaf the dragon wings on there. Gold leaf the dragon wings. Oh. Private edition, one of two special bottles. This bottle of swamp dragon is blended with Paul Bougrand champagne cognac. This I released six bottles to the public for sale at $250 a piece. Three of them sold already. Oh, so that's why you're on here. You selling these for how much? Two hundred fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars a piece. Three. And of somebody them. bought one. There's so you, three left. You made five hundred bucks selling two bottles of hot sauce already. Three seven fifty. I sold. I sold three. You sold three. Yeah. I know. I keep going back to this 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 race thing, but they was they was anybody black that bought this? Not yet. That's why they have me on this show. I'm gonna keep it one thousand. This some white folk shit.
This expensive hot sauce with two. I, look, Sarah, order us some, some hot swamp dragon, and it's in a plastic bottle, because you know somebody break it, they be pissed. Yep. So he got it. Yep. See, I, I know how to sell anything. I've been trapping all my life. Look. <laughs> look. Oh, Sarah! But it's good. It's good for the 250. <laughs> and right here is actually 500 bucks for yep. these two products. Yep. Y'all gotta figure it out, man. Everybody trying to figure out how to get some money. If you can't figure out how to get some money today, I don't know what to tell you, man. The man is selling $250 hot sauces. Yup. You already know what this is. I'm I'm two chains, right? Yup. I'm the host of most expensivest, and we're talking about the swamp drag. And you too can buy your bottle for $250. Dollars. I cannot believe it. $250. Hey, I'm not gonna knock anybody hustle. I got a free bottle, <laughs> and I might do like we do tennis shoes and resell this for about three fifty. But I'm not. I'm actually gonna try this. I'm gonna try it. A little bit of drip on something. Yeah, My man. Shit, that shit hot. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, blue, come here.